you can feel, you can see, you can smell the Porsche heritage of the last eight decades. It's a very old building from 1960. Yeah, this facility is very special and for us very, very important. And of course, it's on a secret place somewhere in the surroundings and suburbs of Stuttgart. To maintain Porsche history is not only our mission, it's our obligation. Porsche projects made for other companies. Mercedes Audi RS2 Avant, the Lada Samara Russian car, some Seat projects for Spain, concept study of a family car for China. This is a major step uh, into the yeah into the future of our history. This facility is very special and for us very, very important. Today we move around 20 cars from the collection of the Porsche Museum into this storage facility. The Porsche Museum has a collection of 505 cars at the moment and now we have found one place where we can store all of them. and we just uh, got this building, so we are quite lucky to have the possibility now to move with the museum cars, that we can move them into this facility and have enough space for the future of the cars. Of course, the cars are not parked here. This is a kind of hub, like a big airport, where the cars come in, the cars go out, and um, it's a kind of rotation disc for all um, the events all over the world. This facility is not a normal warehouse. This is the storage of the Porsche Museum and uh, of course it's a, not a public place. The collection of the Porsche Museum is a heritage of the Porsche brand. These 500 cars, they are representative for the last 80 years of automobile uh, production of Porsche. Our aim is to preserve them, not just only to show them in our museum, we have to preserve them for the next generations. And that's why we are very ambitious to, to keep these cars running, that's why we do restoration projects, that's why we try to maintain them as good as possible. And uh, in this facility we have found a perfect space because here we have perfect climatic uh, surroundings for these cars. One of the unique cars we have here in the collection is the very first 911 Turbo, which was the birthday present for Louise Pich in 1973. She's a sister of Ferry Porsche, the daughter of Ferdinand Porsche, and she's one of the key figures of the Porsche history. And uh, yeah, it's not just the very first one you can make out, it was her private car. First of all, she didn't want to have the turbo badge on the back. And if you look at the windows, you can see that just the side and the rear windows are painted, they're colored. The front window is not colored at all because Louise Pich was an, also an artist and she liked to paint in the car. She was, she was driving in the Alps and uh, in, sitting in the car she was painting. And for that reason she didn't like to have a colored window because she wanted to have the real colors when she did her artistic work.